Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to create a video view in Android Studio in any kind of layout which will look like this. So once we on the application, the video will start playing. You have a media controller to pause, seek it forward, seek it backwards and you can use all these controls like take it backwards and then play it again. So let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savant and welcome to the channel. Alright then, so first of all, let's create a nice UI. So I'll just go here. No, wait, first let's delete this text view. Done. Now we'll just go to constraint layout and we'll change it to relative layout. Now, once we have created relative layout inside it, first I'll a linear layout is created. The width must match parent and the height must also match parent. Now I've created this linear layout. First of all, I'll set its orientation, Android orientation, which should be vertical. So all elements which I enter will be aligned vertically. Done. Now to insert the video view and the media controller, we'll create another linear layout, which will contain only the video view. So let's create it linear layout. The width will match the parent, but the height will wrap the content. Get it? Now this is created. I'll just go down here. Here also the orientation, I will set it to vertical because we just have to enter only one content in it, which is the video view. Now let's create the video view. First of all, open this right video view. The width should wrap the content. But while creating this layout, we'll have to set a particular height. Now, preferably for like uh, normal videos, 16 to 9 ratio, I'll just keep it, uh, let's say 230. All right, that's okay. Now, if you go on increasing the height, the video will get stretched. So adjust it accordingly. Okay. Now we have created the video view. Done. Now we'll set an ID for the video view Android ID let's just keep it video view done now we have created a video inside this linear layout then if you want to assign any kind of text just go to this linear layout the one which we created prior to this one okay now go here I'll just create text view or any component which you want to add I'll just create a text view okay width must match the parent height must wrap the content I'll just close this hmm. now inside this let's do it fast Android text this is my intro Android text color let's keep it black android text alignment center alt enter no not here here we alt enter and center horizontal and finally android text size let's keep it 30 sp done now as you can see the video is, video is on the top let's bring it down Android let's give it a margin on top let's set it to 200 dp then now it is almost on the center now the UI is almost created now comes the main part in which we have to code to bring the video inside the video view so first of all we'll have to bring the video in our resources so go to resources I'll just expand this now right click on resources go to new and then Android resource directory click on it see these three things now re resource type click on this and go to raw get it and press on ok now once raw is created right click on it and then show in explorer then now click on raw we'll just minimize this now see this is my video so I'll just 
cut it from here and I'll paste it inside raw then close this explorer go back to Android studio see we got the intro.mp4 here then now we'll go to the Java file of the activity which is main activity now inside this first of all we'll create video view space video view this is the object name and then find view by id then r dot id dot what id did we keep video view and then semicolon here so it will find the video view and it will assign to this object we will we'll also just do the casting here video view it's not necessary after api 16 but it's a good habit so once we've done the casting here we'll set the path for the video view for the video all right so type video view which is our object name dot set video path now inside this first of all give to quotes then android dot resource then colon forward slash forward slash then come outside it then press the plus operator and then we'll have to assign the package name so just get package name then again plus then we'll need one more one more slash right so quotes forward slash and then we'll assign the video to this so r dot raw dot intro done now we have assigned the video to that object next we'll just press on video view dot start okay now we have created this so the video will play on our device there will be no problem with it but the problem will come when we don't have a media controller the video will just play once and it will end so we'll need a media controller so that we can pause the video seek it ahead and seek it backwards get it so now we'll enter a media controller for the video so just enter here media controller space object name media controller equals to new media controller and then we'll have to set the context which is this semicolon then now we'll set the anchor so media controller dot set anchor view and then name of the object of video so we'll just here yeah, video view done now we'll go down and finally we'll assign the media controller to the object of the video view. so video view dot set media controller and then name of the object of media controller which is media controller so we'll just type it here media controller done so these six lines of code are very important to assign the video to the video view now as my avd is a little slow i'll just debug the application on my mobile phone and i'll show you the results all right so this is our application as you can see the video is playing perfectly and this is the media player we can pause it we can take the video behind we can take it forward all right backwards forwards everything you can do you can use this control all right so this is the video view this one hmm. this much area is our second linear layout this is the text view this whole thing is the first linear layout which is inside the relative layer okay so this was our result now let's get back to the video so this was the process to create video view in android studio in any kind of layout so if you find it useful do share it with your friends who want to know more about Android Studio and like the video 
and consider subscribing to the channel i have a whole series on android studio you can check it out the link is in the description and yeah thank you